do, I would like you to put your hands together for Chief Superintendent Flynn! Thank you. Thank you. You know, a few moments ago I was saying to someone that this is the third time this year I've been called upon to make a speech at the leaving do for one of my officers. Now we all know there's a lot of nonsense talked about coppers with a nose for a villain. Most of the time it's rubbish. But once in a while, you do find a copper who's a natural thief taker. And Keith Whitman is one such man. Yeah. From his early years at Brockton, then Tavistock Road, West End Central, and finally here at Hoxton, he's probably put away more villains than anyone else in this room. He'd never tell you this himself, but I happen to know that if he'd so chosen, he could have been a DCI many years before he finally took the appointment. The reason being that he didn't want to stop working the streets with his team. Now I think that says a lot about the man. Yeah. About his integrity, commitment to the job and his loyalty to fellow officers. Keith Whitman is going to be a hard act to follow. But follow it we will, because we all know that's what we're here for. Yeah. And to quote Keith's favourite phrase, there's no rest for the wicked. Right, Keith? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to propose the toast to Keith Whitman. Good luck in your new life. Now, I think this is the most important bit. Keith, because we all thought you might have too much time on your hands, we brought you something to keep you occupied. If this is all our paperwork, I left unfinished. <laughs> Thanks a lot, all of you. Look, no speeches. I just want to say, no, no, I just want to say it's been a pleasure working with you all. You've been a great team, and thanks for this. I don't know what Pauline's going to say, but I'll be thinking of you all, slaving away. Join the 19th hole at El Casablanco, so thanks a lot. And now let's get on with some serious drinking. Be lucky if we get custom made golf clubs when we go. Hey, Jimbo? Not for the likes of us. Oh, I don't know. When it's my turn, I think I'll drop very large hints about state of the art high fives. So, who's for a fresh one, eh? Jimbo, what you want? Um, yeah, lager, thanks. Sharon Pet? I'll have an orange juice. Thanks, Roy. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're driving. It's a free bar. Honest. Just an orange. All right. Back in a sec. No, thanks. Uh, so how long have you known Roy, then? Well, I don't. Well, not before tonight. He's one of your mob, isn't he? Um, Hoxton, I mean. Sorry, I thought he was a mate of yours. I didn't want to say anything. No, you're safe there. So what about the Governor? Were you with him down West End Central? Well, to tell the truth, I've only ever worked with him on joint ops. In fact, I'm supposed to be here with my DS. Don Beach. Apparently, him and your governor go back a long way. Oh. Speak of the devil. Hello, Jim. How's it going? I've just about given up on you. Most of the food's gone, you know. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I have some things to deal with. Hello. Uh, Don Beach, this is Sharon. Um... Hello. Hello. Jim, just talking about you. Have you? You don't believe a word of it. Whatever he says, he's just jealous. So, uh, who would like a drink before I sit down? I think we've got one coming. Mind you, knowing Roy, it could be a long wait. Thanks, I'll have an orange. Jim? Well, as soon as it's you, I'll have a large scotch, thanks. OK. Excuse me. You're really not drinking tonight? Sorry, what? You're not drinking tonight? No, uh, not for the moment. Listen, could I pinch one of your cigarettes now? Yeah, sure. A vodka and tonic, double scotch and orange juice. By the time you showed up, I thought for a bit you were going to blow me out. God, how's it going? Pretty good. Costing me an arm and a leg, but when you got to go, go and style, right? Right. I never thought I'd ever see you giving it all up to play golf. The truth is, when it's a toss-up between a Spanish golf course and freezing my ass off in Hoxton, well, what's it going to be? Right. It's got to be Hoxton every time, hasn't it? <laughs> I see Kenny Yates is still as happy as ever. Yeah, still a pillar of the community, our Kenny. 
You know, his charity All Stars played our lot of football last month, made a packet for the Widows and Orphans Fund, so even the superintendent will shake his hand. Yeah. Must have felt like old times. Kenny having a bunch of coppers chasing his team up. Now, now, Don, don't get cynical in your old age. He's been lucky. Still is. Still got to be lucky in this life, haven't you? Can't be. Sorry. Got sorry. Yeah, sure. Uh, you're staying, right? Right. Unless you start telling stories about Tavistock Road. Yeah. With what you've got on me. <laughs> Really? Honest. <laughs> That's going to be the worst story I've heard all week. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, can I have a word? Paul, listen. I right? need to speak to you, please. I need to. You promised you wouldn't do this. Look, mate, I don't know what you think is going on here. Oh, Sir John, it's okay. C can you keep my drink for me? Don Beach, how you doing, mate? I haven't seen you since Billy Waters do. Hi, Roy. You okay? I'm doing fine, mate. Never better. Especially now. Oh, yeah? How's that? Reason we're all here. Good send off for the old DCI. Yeah, well, reckon he deserves it, don't you? It's not every day you clear 28 years. Nah, you're right. Not everyone's that lucky. Shame he didn't want to stick around for the full pension, though, eh? Still, he should worry, right? Gets out now and he's home free. Home free? How do you mean? Oh, come on, Don. You were in the same station with him, weren't you? Don't tell me the one story is about that. I'm sorry, mate. I'm not with you. DS Beach, isn't it? Sunny Hill. Tony Larry, we met once at the Nick. Oh, yeah, I remember. Tony, how you doing, all right? Good do your lot's put on here. Oh, glad you could come over. Well, I miss it. Me and your DC, I go way back. You're on his team, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, same as Roy here. Not always the same team, though, is it, Tony? Remember? I need a drink. Don't want to about Don't you. Don't you think it's time you laid off now, mate? Listen, mate. I know when I want to lay off, all right? Come on, Don. Have a drink. Um, yeah, um, I've just got to drop these off and I'll be with you, yeah? Chance to catch up. All right, catch up. We didn't make uh, sergeant yet. Not yet, no. So where'd you know the governor from? Go back donkey's years. Really? Listen, uh, why don't you come over and join us? Give Roy the slip while you got the chance, eh? No, thanks. I think old Roy there needs someone to talk to. Maybe get him out of the way for a bit, yeah? I'll tell the governor you'll be back, right? You do that. And don't worry, I'll look after all right. OK, if you say so. Uh, see you later, yeah? Cheers, thanks. There you go, Jim. Cheers. Uh, where's the girlfriend? I hope you're not responsible for that, young James. Not me. I don't know what that's about. Looks like a lover's tip to me. I'm telling you, I haven't done anything. Yeah, well, this is hers. You can hold it if you like. Look, um... I've got to go and have a word with a bloke, get something straight, so, uh... Oh, yeah, great. You do realise the only reason I came tonight was because I thought you wanted the company. Me? Whatever gave you that idea? Hi. Sorry about that. Thanks, is that my drink? Yeah, there you go. You OK? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just, uh, it's complicated. Look, um, would you like to move over there, out of the way? I mean, I don't want to butt in or anything. No, no, you're not. Um, yeah, actually, it might be better over there. Do you mind? Of course. So, uh, what's the problem, Roy? Not enjoying the party? Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying myself, all right. <laughs> so what's this about the DCI? You and him had a bit of a falling out. <laughs> You'd have to know I was around for that. No chance. He's too busy taking care of business. Business? Yeah, business. Sorry, mate, I'm not with you. All right, I'll tell you straight. The only reason good old DCI Whitman is getting out before his full pension is because he doesn't need his pension. He's made so much dosh on the side, he doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah, well, I know his old woman's got a load of money. Not his wife, him. Making an ear in the job. Keep it down, Roy. People hear that, they might not think it's a joke. You are kidding me, aren't you? No, I'm not kidding you. Good old DCI Whitman is as bent as a dog's back leg. Always has been. And half of them know it too. Look, mate, I think you'd better tell me about this right from the beginning, yeah? But not here, eh? Let's go and uh, find somewhere nice and quiet, yeah? It suits me. I've had enough of this place anyway. Right, over there. Go on. Let's go. DS on the team. We had a thing together. You know how it is. 
But not anymore. No! I don't know why he won't leave it. I've told him it's over, but... It's like he just isn't listening. How long since you split up? Four weeks. God, it seems like months. I took a week off sick just to give him time to get over it. But he kept turning up at my front. Just sitting outside in his car. Listen, I'm sorry, eh? Just what you need. Come to a party and get cornered by some silly tart and her problems. I told you it's fine. Yeah? Thanks. Straight toilet water, right? Oh, yeah, but, um, not so you'd notice, okay? That's for you. Oh, okay. Thanks. There you go, Roy. What's that you're drinking there? Vodka and tonic. Cheers. Cheers. Used to getting away with it, eh? Look, mate. I've known Keith Whitman for years. And if it wasn't you telling me this, I'd be laughing. Yeah, got to be a joke, hasn't it? Keith Whitman, put away more villains than the rest of the Met put together. Super cop he is. 28 years in the job. How much do you reckon he's raked off in 28 years, eh? How much? 100? 200? More? Look, Roy, I don't know that he's raked anything off, all right? <laughs> Nobody'd ever be able to find out anyway. It's not going to be sitting in a bank account, is it? He's put it all into that Spanish villa we all hear so much about. Just because he's got a holiday home doesn't make him bent. He could have fooled that on a DCI's money, you know. Oh, come on. We're not talking about some poxy little timeshare flat, you know. I've seen the photos. This is a flaming villa, mate. More bedrooms than an hotel. And there's him and his pal Kenny H sitting there by the swimming pool. Ask him. He'll show you the pictures. He'll show anyone. Because it's not his, is it? All down in his wife's name like the rest of his little sidelines. All belongs to Pauline. I don't know. Maybe it is Pauline's, eh? We know she's got money. The kids are grown up. Who knows what she's worth? Well, might a bit of it coming my way either. Ah, she's not going to look sideways at you and me. Besides, she's too tarty for my taste. Yeah, maybe. Come on, my round. Same again? No, you sit there. I'll get these. It's on the DCI's bill, right? Yeah, make sure they know it too. Same again, please, love. The point is, Don, unless you know what's going on, no one's gonna believe you. Perfect. <sighs> He's so fireproof, Kenny Yates can even come to his leave and do. So how do you know, Roy? I just do. Anything else? Uh, no, thanks. I've, um, same as before, yeah? Right. Thank you. Here you go. So, uh, tell me, Roy. It's not easy, you know, Don. I've been in this job 18 years. 18 years. And where am I, eh? Bloody nowhere. That's where. And then you look at Whitman. He's had the lot. Wife, career, kids. Just fell into his lap. Yeah, maybe. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. So I thought, why shouldn't I have some of that too? I'm entitled. Listen, Dom. I know you're a mate, all right? But you've got to keep this, you know. So just this once, I tell this bloke there's a way out of his problems. Because I'm standing there with the evidence bag. And all he's got to do is get lost, and he walks. So I tell him, two grand, and it's gone. Two poxy grand. I mean, what's that to him? Nothing. Back on the street and make that back in one afternoon. A dealer, right? Right, dealer. And you know what he says? He smiled at me, poxy little slag. And he says, you better have a word with your boss then. I mean, I'm offering him a way out, and all he's doing is smiling at me and telling me he wants to see Whitman. So what did you do? <sighs> Nothing. Bang him up right out of the charges. I mean, I know then, don't I? 
I know even before old Keith sends Larry round to have a quiet chat. So what did Larry say? Ah, <sighs> uh, he said it all, mate. Jumped up, little bastard. <laughs> A good old DCI Whitman knows I made a mistake, but I'm not to worry. Everyone will be just fine, so long as I know which side I'm on. They've got me, haven't they? I can't do nothing, because if I do, it all comes out, right? I'll go down too. Same again. No, no, look, look, I'll get them. No, you stay there. It's definitely my turn. Besides, it's all paid for anyway. Hey, someone said there was two grand behind the bar, is that right? So they say. Won't be much change left with this lot, though. What is it, a scotch? Are you trying to get me drunk? Could be. Not interrupting anything, am I? Oh. Don't worry, no. You and him, that's fine. Just fine. What is it? Another one here, then a quickie in the car. Look, mate. I don't know what your problem is, but why don't you just take it outside? Leave her alone. Problem. <laughs> Oh, my problem, mate. Sticking it in where it don't belong. Paul, oh, don't do this. It's none of your business. You bloody tar! Ugh. Get him out of here! Oh, you all right? <laughs> Gotta put yeah. some ice in that or something. No, I'm all right. Why did he do that? Because he's a nutter. Would you want a drink? <laughs> yeah. Sharon? Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, mate. So who else have you told about this, Roy? Hmm? Just you, mate. One mistake, eh? So what are you going to do about it? I mean, this is pretty heavy stuff. If you spill the beans, CIB and the whole lot could come in. I don't know. I need to think. And it wouldn't be just Whitman and Lowry they'd be getting. You'd be out too. No pension, maybe even charges. you got to think about that, Roy. Hello. I gotta think. Look, maybe we should get out of here, yeah? Get some fresh air. What if I call a minicab, get you home? Roy, a cab, yeah? Yeah. You just wait there. I'll be right back. Look, are you sure? Well, maybe you should give him more time to get clear. No, I want to go now, Jim, OK? But all right. At least let me see you out, yeah? All right. What's up? You two leaving? No, I'm just showing Sharon to her car. Can you give me a hand on the way? I've got to pull Roy Burns into a cab. Oh, no, not Roy. I had him earlier. <laughs> Hello. Come on, Roy. I thought we were going to get a cab, mate. Shh. Just want to say goodbye, don't I? Goodbye to good old Keith. Yeah, come on. Good old Keith! Come on. Come here, Roy. Let's go. Jim, grab his arm. All right, I am. Thousands he's got, Arcady boy. Thousands. All right. Got to be the best copper in the Met to make that kind of money. Hey, Lum. Yeah. Hey. Course he is, yeah. Look, hang on to him a sec, will you? I've got to call a cab. All right. Ah, Sharon. You going too, darling? Tell you what. You and Jim, eh? You and Jim. Don't you ever let them get you over a barrel, all right? Don't give them nothing. They're fireproof. But not you and me. Nice. Nice. Understand? Yeah, sure. Sure, Roy. Look, don't worry about it. No, don't worry. Stuff them. All them. Stuff them. Thousands he's got, oh, Keith. Cab's on his yeah. way. I'll take him. I'll look after him. Are right? you sure? Yeah, you're gone. You're gone. <sighs> nice meeting you, Sharon. Yeah, you too. Take care. Come on. Up you get. Honest, Jim, you don't have to leave the party just on my account. Oh, I wasn't going to stay much longer anyway. I'm up early on Obo tomorrow. <laughs> Another eight hours of freezing my bits off in the car park. Yeah? So how... I mean, do you want a lift? Well, if... Um, which is your car? We can't just leave him, Jim. Oh, he'll be okay. He's just lost his beer. Oh, Sharon! I can't, Jim. But what are you going to do with him? Oh, I don't know. Take him home, give him some coffee or something. Are you sure that's a good idea? What else can I do? Look at him. He needs somebody. All right. 
In you go. Mind your head. He's not going to be sick, is he? <laughs> He'll be all right. You know where to go, don't you? Yeah. All right, Don. Yeah, Gov, no problem. If he'd had any more, he'd be talking about little green men and pink elephants. Still, it's not your worry now, is it? Now you're off to the sun. Yeah, we from now I'll be on the Costa. But I wouldn't want to go leaving unfinished business. Nicer to wrap things up. Yeah, of course. So what I was saying before about Kenny Yates. Yeah, he must have turned a nice few quid for you all these years. Yeah, I've not done too badly out of him. So I was thinking, it seems a pity just to let him dry up and keep it all to himself from now on. Nicer to pass it over, if you think you could use it. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, Keith, um, right now, I think that Kenny Yates is a bit past his sell-by date. Oh, don't get me wrong, I really appreciate the offer. But with you gone, and no one to keep an eye on Burns, don't know, might be a bit exposed. Yeah. Well, you could be right. But I realise you've just done me a favour with old Roy there, so I'll tell you what. I did hear that Kenny Yates has just bought some property out your way, and I know in the past he's had some problems with his tenants. Like what? Well, lets the place out and then finds it's being used as a coke house or a layaway for bent goods. You might want to check that out. Could be a result. Yeah. Yeah, now that might be worth looking at. Thanks. No problem. Let's call it a going away present. Anyway, I better get back in. I'll see you inside. Yeah, right. Um, give me five. Aye, aye. Didn't expect to see you for a bit. Thought I might have been on a promise there. Ah, it wasn't like that. Good look at that. Yeah. So, you managed to get rid of Burns then? Good deed done for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Can't feel sorry for the guy though, really, haven't you? So, what was he going on about? Whitman earning thousands? You are kidding, right? <laughs> All I know, Jim, is that Roy Burns is a loser. Always has been, always will be. The rest is none of my business. Yeah, I know, but... Have you ever, you know, been tempted? Wouldn't tell you if I had, would I? Hmm? Sleeping dogs, mate. Sleeping dogs.